Maganaga Maga, Maganaga Hapu, Maganaga B, wherever you may be. This is Steve from the Star Philippines, trucking with Kuya Steve on his journey to get back to the Philippines. So, today is another beautiful day, starting out. Temperature is running about 25 degrees here in North Dakota, and we're fixing to go over here and drop this load off. It's uh, still a little dark out here. It's around 6.45 in the morning, so we're going to get get this load uh, over to the destination, get it dropped off, and then we're going to head head up and get our back call and start rolling back towards Pennsylvania. It looks like it's going to be a long ride today, so hang on and be prepared. We're going to go ahead and get this video underway. be an interesting day here um, I just got my direction I'm coming across here I'm gonna be coming across North Dakota back into Minnesota and going up to a looks like a little country farm up here <laughs> a big country farm Dale Guthrie he's a, another YouTube vlogger he should uh, understand this delivery here because it looked like a big grain elevator that I'm going to something like that we'll get we'll get more pictures of it when we get out here and uh, get closer to where we're going but we're headed up this way today it looks like it's country roads driving and we're gonna go across here and see where we get to today right now we're on highway 2 and going over to uh, highway 75 to go north again so be on our way here Here we are at uh, 75 already. It was about a couple miles across here. And we're actually already in Minnesota. So we got a, got a, just a few miles there into, uh, you know, like North Dakota just crossed out a few miles. And then uh, we got on the 75 here. We're gonna head north here to where our destination is pretty much all the way up here, 75, and then we're gonna get on uh, another highway too, is what it says. So we're heading up this way, see where we go to. Here we are, we're coming into Hendrum, Minnesota. So you get into these little towns, you've been traveling 60 mile an hour, the on the back roads and now you get up into these little towns and it slows down to 30 30 mile an hour but it's just a little town on one side a grain elevator on one side and you got the railroad tracks over on the other side so just ease down through the towns and back out to the other side we'll head back up to the side here so just keep rolling across this Minnesota good long stretch of road here to go up here wide road there nice sidewalk there in that little town that's pretty interesting but here we are back up to 60 again and back out in the farms again so here we go I just been uh, following these this railroad track here and man it's a long line of grain cars out here I guess they're grain cars but it's a long line of them and they stretch on up here. This they may change to different kind of cars up here. Yeah, it looks like they're these were grain cars, and then here comes tanker cars up here. I'm sure there's a lot of rail cars up through there. They're not 
not moving. They're just sitting here. They're just, I guess they're in here for storage or getting ready to use or whatever they do with them. I don't know. But man, there's a lot of train cars here. A couple of miles of them at least. So they're going up all the way up through here. finally came to the end of all these rail cars ah look at this town climax <laughs> only 267 people welcome to climax established 1896 but we are we came up here in this one of these other towns where you just slow down to 30 to go through it again like I said you got the road the train tracks and the town on the one side, it seems like the going through these little places. It's been a pretty interesting little drive up this road today. So we're still on Highway 75 coming through Minnesota here. So and across the Sand Hill River right here. Oh, look at that! That river still has a little bit of ice on it yet. And it's still cold up here. It's 24 degrees up here this morning, so it is kind of chilly yet. Uh, here we go back up to 60, and oh my goodness, on the other side of town, row after row of train car. Looks like we've got another 16 miles to go up here to Crookston. That's where we're supposed to get highway to, I think. So. We'll keep on traveling on, keep you updated as we go. Well, here we are coming into Crookstown. It's 45 up through here, so we'll ease up through here. I'm supposed to come over here and get on a so there's a two going eastbound here. Route two. Yep, right up here. I think we had to get off on this two east. Right lane must turn right, all right. We'll do that. Two east. This is a divided highway right here that we're going to be on. So we're going to stay on this road a little bit further and we'll hopefully get over here to our pickup point and get our load and start heading back to Pennsylvania here in a few minutes. So we're on 2 East right now, heading across Minnesota. Well, I'm not a hopper bottom driver. But Dale may be pretty uh <laughs> may be pretty interested to see where I'm coming out here to pick up at this morning. Coming out here to this farm it looks like this uh a little different than what I've usually come out to pick up loads from, but like I said I'm not a I'm not hauling no hopper bottom today, but this is where they're sending me out to make a pickup. So we'll see what it is out here and see, uh, see how it goes picking this stuff up from out here on this farm here. I thought it was pretty interesting coming out here and coming out here and coming on a farm lane to pick up a load here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is our place right here. Hey Dale, does this look anything familiar to you? 
old hopper bottom driver. Pretty sure you come out to places like this all the time. I'm just not used to coming out to any place like this. So we're gonna see what we uh, get into here and see where we're at here. It says all trucks must pull on the scale. So we'll see where we're going here. Well, this just is a old farm. Loading over here. That could be Dale Guthrie over there loading, I don't know. I don't like his truck over there. But this is an old farm we're loading at. We're gonna get a good heavy load to go back again. So it's gonna be a heavy load, slow, long pulls over these hills, but we're gonna make it. And uh, we'll see how far we get today as far as getting back down south. Uh, it's gonna be a long ride today, I guarantee you. Uh, maybe a long ride for the next two days. We'll see how long it takes us to get there and where we get and how far we get. So follow along and we'll get you caught up as we go along. That's all I can say. We're gonna be running back to Allentown, Pennsylvania. The drop off is supposed to be Monday. We'll see if that's, if we can, get back in time to drop that off Friday maybe I don't know we'll see uh, we're gonna work our best and get it accomplished as best we can so get ready and we'll be on the road here shortly well, we're headed down this 59 south we're a few miles east of where we were this morning coming north we're headed down this 59 south going down here towards 94 we'll see how far we get down here today and driving down through here we like I said we do have a heavy load today we're got a full trailer again so even with the wind blowing it won't bother this trailer today it, it'll hold up today so or pretty much I mean it, it's a lot better driving with a full load than it is with an empty trailer when, the, when you got these windy conditions so but we're headed down through here we're gonna see what we find today and see what we can find for you to look at and maybe enjoy with us right now it's farmlands down through here this is a land of a thousand lakes but we got a land of a thousand farms also <laughs> so we just keep traveling south here we'll get get down here and see if we can find anything for you I don't know if you can see over there to your right there there's one of that's a train on the move there he's got got his box car at all coming coming north there so those are grain cars coming north pretty good sized train there you got one engine on there so he's not full there yet I wouldn't think he's full probably going up there to get some get loaded up and then he'll go back south again maybe so alright we're on our way south and as it stands right now, we got 20 hours or 21 hours and 30 minutes to go. That's by car travel, so trust gonna take a little bit longer than that. Especially once we get over to Pennsylvania, and get in those hills, it'll be a lot longer. So we'll see how far we get and how how we get down there today. Well, this part of Minnesota has been nothing but flat land. Well, rolling kind of a rolling hill land and farmland up through here. That's all, all that there is up through here. Every once in a while you'll come through a town, you have to slow, slow down to about 45 mile an hour to go through the town, then you pick right back up and you get out here in these open lands here. So that's all there is up here in Minnesota. This is the, we're gonna be up here for quite a while in this, in Minnesota, cause we're gonna kinda go south and back over towards the uh, east there Minnesota Wisconsin over to Illinois so it's gonna be a, a while I don't know how long I don't know exactly how far it is down here to Wisconsin we'll, we'll get down here and let you know here shortly and see how far we got to go yet to get down to Wisconsin but we're headed that way just keep traveling through this 
open vast land out through here. We're down here at Detroit Lakes and we're gonna come off this 59 here and turn on this 10 East. US 10 East. That's where we're headed here. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but it said 130 miles, we gotta go across this 10 East. So, 130 miles from now, we'll see where we end up at. But we're on this, we're coming through Detroit Lakes, is where we're at right now. The town we're in is Detroit Lakes. So, must be a big lake out here or something. Maybe a couple of lakes, who knows. There's your lake right there. It's a nice big lake out there. See out there or not? Pretty big lake. And you can still see it's, uh, it's still got ice on that lake there. lakes I passed yesterday were slush covered but you know that one's still got a pretty good amount of ice on it there it looks like another little lake out there to the left there nice little lake looking area we're in the land of a thousand lakes, so we may see a couple of lakes out through here today. Just keep our eyes open. Like I said before on the other road, it was like a land of a thousand farms, and now we're down here in the lake and the uh, camping areas and stuff like that, it looks like. Nice little campground out there. You see the lake out there to your right? A lot of lakes out here. This part of Minnesota, anyways. They call them all lakes, I guess. Even little ponds like this here. <laughs> That'd be a pond in Alabama. But here, I guess they're all called lakes up here in Minnesota. train rolling uh, westbound. Rolling right here beside us here, so I get to try to get a view of that and see how long he is here. Pretty good sized train there. That's some some cars that are loaded anyways. You don't travel many roads with a train right here beside you. It don't seem like anymore, so that's all that was interesting to see. Well, that's the end of them right there. You didn't have a caboose on them, man. Here's another one of those little lakes out there. A little bitty lake. <laughs> like I said, they call us the land of the thousand lakes, but that's probably a lake right there to them also, that little bitty hole right there, so. <laughs> I tell you, it's a surely wet area up to here. It's, there's water everywhere around. Everywhere you look, there's water. Left and right side of the road. Don't see any more right here, though, for right now. So We'll see if we find any more down here or see anything other in other in here. We'll see if we find anything else interesting to look at down through here as we go. So... Keep looking. It's another little town we're going through on our way down the road here. This is Wadena. Wadena. Oh. Coming through this 
this little town and like I said every time you come to a little town on these little roads you gotta slow up we've had a nice road that was a uh, almost like an interstate the whole way down through here to Adena so got approximately 80 more miles to go on this road yet before we get to where we need to go man if I had some time I'd stop right there and I'd try out their barbecue right there if I had some time to do that. You know I love to eat barbecue. The barbecue smokehouse. Open. Man, that sure would be nice probably. Get some good barbecue there. But we don't have time. We're going on the road and got to keep rolling for right now. Dairy Queen. Give me a Dairy Queen hamburger too. Guess not today, not right now anyways. About we'll to see what's down here when we get parked up for the night and find a place to sleep for the night. We'll see if there's anything good to eat down that way. I really need to find something good to eat tonight because last night the restaurant wasn't even open last night where I stopped at. They had closed and never opened, so I had to eat just truck stop food last night which I need something better than that we're here in Motley and we're fixing to make a hard right hand turn it looks like here to stay on this 10 east as you see we got a little bit of rain to deal with well it's not as bad as what it Look like it was gonna be. We're gonna come around here, come around this way. Still traveling 10 east. We got about 60 more miles on this road yet to go today, so keep on trucking on. Best we can coming through all these little towns. There's another barbecue smokehouse, man. I'm find me a barbecue smokehouse to eat at tonight. Barbecue place. Had barbecue in a couple of weeks. Be nice to have some barbecue tonight. But it all depends on where you stop at, what you're gonna get to eat. So we'll see as we get on down here further. Although you don't realize it that much, driving down through here, you must be gaining some elevation because every once in a while there's patches of snow still over here on the ground. So, I've seen some every once in a while. Now that I turn the camera on, I probably won't see any more, but... <laughs> There has been some snow down through here every once in a while. Right here at the Lincoln Lakes is what they say. On the map, there's a, supposed to be there's some snow right there on the ground. See that snow over there? So they still got a little bit of snow on the ground around here. Okay. The little lakes are a little frozen over there still. So we must be up a little bit higher than what some of the other areas we've been traveling through. Mississippi. It's not so mighty up here, but 
we are crossing the Mississippi River. So, I saw it was kind of interesting coming up here and just cross the Mississippi River here at Little Falls, Minnesota. east of the Mississippi again today. We're coming into St. Cloud here and uh, we've gotten off on this fit Route 15. We'll be going over here to 94 to take 94 eastbound and head, head over towards the Chicago area. That's where we're going to be heading over to well, doggone, there's the Mississippi River again. Two times a day I've crossed that. Huh. We're about to cross that down here again somewhere. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, we're uh, trying to get over here to 94 to see if we can head eastbound. They said it's about seven or eight miles across this road here. So... That's where we're headed right now. Well, we've made it over here to 94 East now. So we're eastbound and hammered down. We've got 1,200 miles to go to our destination. Uh, tonight we won't make that, of course, as you know. So we'll just head over here and find out where we can camp out for the night. We've got a couple more hours to drive today yet to knock off some of these hours anyway, some of these miles. And we'll just keep traveling on eastbound now. So as you see, we met some rain, so might have to slow up a little bit, slow down things a little bit with the rain, but we're continuing on eastbound today. Let's see where we're at on here. Man, Minneapolis, another 64 miles down this road yet. So we got a ways to go yet to get to Minneapolis and hold across here. So let's see how it goes. We are coming around a uh, wet and dreary St. Paul here. And I missed it, but we just crossed the Mississippi River again. So. There we go, we've crossed the Mississippi River again today, so now we're back. I think that's the last time we crossed it, so I think we're back across the Mississippi River, headed eastbound now, so we'll have to pass that again, and uh, we'll get on over eastbound here and see how, see how well we go. We've got a couple more hours to drive yet today, so I'm still pushing it, trying to get as far as I can today. Just now coming around on 694, we're coming around uh, St. Paul and uh, trying to get over here to Wisconsin yet this afternoon. Here we are crossing the St. Croix River once more. We have finally made it out of, we're finally made it out of uh, Minnesota and coming into Wisconsin here. So. That's been a full day drive today, man. That's a long day across, uh, across uh, Minnesota there. We're finally here in Wisconsin, and it's, it's going to be a long ride across Wisconsin, too. So we'll see what happens uh, as we go across here. But there's a sign, Wisconsin welcomes you. So we are in Wisconsin now. Good evening guys it's been a long day and uh we're finally finished up over here uh i'm at the the rest stop i'm above madison about a couple of hours above madison wisconsin right now or not a couple hours but about an hour above madison wisconsin right now that's about as far as i can make it so i'm calling it a night tonight and we'll see what happens in the morning but we had a good long day. If you didn't, if you 
you want to know where I went to today, we went from starting Fargo, North Dakota. We went over to a little town up in uh, Minnesota. I'm trying to think of the name of that town. Hold on just a minute and I'll tell you what the name of that town was. That town was Mentor, Mentor, Minnesota. And then we came down, we drove down through some of the back roads coming down through Minnesota, came down to uh, St. Paul and got on 94. And we came across 94 now and we're over here just outside of, came into Wisconsin and just inside, uh, just outside of Madison, Wisconsin. So got a little bit further to go in uh, Wisconsin today or tomorrow. And we'll start heading over towards Pennsylvania tomorrow and see how far we get. I'm hoping to make it to the boys tomorrow. We'll see if we can do that. I'm not sure if I got the time to do it or not. We're gonna do our best to get over there. And hopefully that's where we're gonna spend the night tomorrow night. And then we'll drive into Allentown on Friday morning. So appreciate you watching. And thanks for all the comments. Thank you. Thank you.